In our recent 2023 travel predictions uh, report or survey that Booking.com put out, I wanted to share some statistics as a travel business for you to think about. Some of these were super interesting, so I just pulled a few of them out here and listed them. But as we see that 28% of travelers want to buy a one-way ticket and follow their instinct to wherever it took them. 55% want holidays that help them escape from reality and switch off. 44% want to travel with only the bare necessities. 73% are looking forward to getting out of their comfort zone and visiting places that push them to their limits. 88% want to intend to carve out travel experiences that remind them of simpler times. What do all these things have in common? The foundation of why we travel in the first place, right? We travel to on a much personal level and reason. When we think about what the tourism and hospitality industries have been industry has been marketing over the years, they're selling travel, they're selling trips, they're selling a destination, but that's not what people are buying, at least not now. We're seeing this shift in this humanity in why we travel, what we do, where we go, how long we travel for. Travel has always been that for us, but now we're seeing companies like booking.com and um other big companies talking about this depth and this hyper personalization and this immersion into these transformative and meaningful experiences that people are truly looking for. It's about shifting the mindset around travel and using it as a tool to help us in our professional lives, our well-being, our mental well-being, our relationships, and more. This is something I've talked about over the past three years as a wellness travel coaching consultant, talking to companies on stages um, around the globe. And now we're hearing more about this. We're reading articles on the daily about different surveys. And I promise you what they're talking about is bringing this human-centric approach back to the tourism industry that had been lost for a long time. So it's a really exciting, exciting time. So if you're a travel coach or travel business owner, I want you to, what I say in my travel coach certification program, do your research, ch- look and listen to what's going on in the industry and implement, implement this into how you market yourself, how you brand yourself, how you, what messages you put out there about travel, how you attract your ideal clients, because it's this kind of messaging that's gonna resonate versus if you continue to try to sell a travel experience, which is not gonna work anymore.